Hi, I'm DC. Hi, I'm a Marvel. And uh, a few hours ago, we just watched Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. It was... It was... Uh, it was something else. Where to begin? Where to begin? First off, they hyped the movie up way too much, in my opinion. Sure, publicity was good. Movie, not so good. Alright, let's just talk about character first. Character-wise, Henry Cavill killed uh, Superman, as always. In Man of Steel, he did really good. Ben Affleck, I had some doubts at the beginning when I first heard him int introduced, because of his Daredevil role. But then, while I was watching the movie, I was like, oh shit. He's actually pretty good. Even as Bruce Wayne, he was doing really good. And Wonder Woman, oh man, that was... Yeah, she was really good. Yeah, she was something else. But she was good. I liked her I liked her scene a lot. Even though it wasn't that big of a role, or that scene of just Wonder Woman, it was really good. Lex Luthor, on the other hand, freaking reminded me of the Riddler a lot. Like, a little bit of the Joker, but more of the Riddler. Like, he was just, like, cartoony, always joking around, but he had that quick sort of thing that he always does. But uh, as just like Jesse Eisenberg if he was the Joker. Yeah. No if, he was, if, he, if he was the Joker, I wouldn't have complained at all. I, I would have. Like, I would have hated it. Why? You thought <laughs> you were... If he was the Joker, oh, uh, no. Oh, the Joker? Yeah, if he was the Joker. Oh, if he was the Joker? Oh, hell no. That would have... D disaster. Just reboot it and make him the Riddler. That's, that's if he was the Riddler, that would have been. No. That wouldn't have complained. That would have been good, because I could see him as a Riddler. And the way he was talking the movie, if he did had a Riddler costume, a tux, with question marks all over it, that would have been good. I'd be like, yeah, this guy's actually doing pretty good. But as Lex Luthor, I don't think so. As far as I know, Lex Luthor wasn't in that movie. He wasn't at zero. Like literally, like. Nothing like maybe a few points. All I know is that he was a it's he was a, a psychopath. It's not the Lex Luthor we know. At the end of the movie, where he's like finally bald, like oh cool, you made him bald. He's Lex Luthor. Looks like Lex Luthor, but he's like oh my gosh, they're coming, they're coming. I'm like what? that? No, Lex Luthor, some jack bald dude that's a badass and becomes president and shit like that. And he he's like <laughs> like he's really like. Smart. Like, he's smart in the movie, Yeah. but he's more psychotic. And then, like, I was like... Yeah, he's like a broken yeah, like, dude. Yeah, he was like, like he was some like, reason. some problems he was going through. I don't know, like, to me, it just didn't click yeah. as Lex Luthor. He was just, I don't know, it was just... It was, it was uh, something else. And the, when they used Granny's peach tea as a plot device, that's when, that's when you don't take the movie seriously. Yeah, like I got the reference, like because he's like, oh, you can take Granny's piss and like make it like Granny's peach tea and, and shit. I won't drink it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then like when he looked at it, it was like, oh, okay, some shit's going on. But like, dude, it's Lex Luthor. That's something like. For a record, though, I felt really bad for Superman. I personally don't like Superman, but I felt really bad for him. Batman was such a bully to him. In that yeah. fight, like, oh my now god. Now we're going to the story. The characters, though, awesome part. The story, though, what the hell. Uh, beginning beginning was, like, a long, not long, but, like... We did not need a, a Batman origin again. We didn't. <laughs> no. Like, like, my brother is not a big, big superhero fan, yeah. but he knows the, the origin. He's like, yeah, his parents died, freaking... Um, from a robbery in a, like an alleyway, I don't know, a theater, and then boom, got killed. But like, like, like it was weird. And like the thing was, it was funny too though. The both Bruce's parents were Maggie and Negan from The Walking Dead. It's, it's crazy. It's like, no way. It is, yeah. <laughs> really? Yup. And it's pr that was pretty awesome. This is going uh, back to that was a little off topic. So, but the thing was that in this movie, the first half, everything was kind of just thrown in. Like, it was like, literally like, here's this, here's that, here's that, here's this. It makes some sense of it. Because I got lost. I'm like, what the hell are they talking about now? They literally just like, 
like jumping here and there, and I was just like, I looked at him all the movies. I was like, yeah, what the hell's going on? Like, are we like, is it is that scene done? I was so confused when Super like Batman. I said Superman because Superman flies, but Batman was just like the freaking Bruce Wayne was surrounded by all those goddamn bats. He was like, oh, like he's being ascended. Like yeah, I get it was a I, dream, I, but still, what what was that? It took me a, it took me like a while after like while he was in the cave because everything seemed like a normal like his. What was going through his origin story, and all of a sudden it was like he started flying. I'm like, like okay. It took me a second. I'm like, wait, it's a dream. I was like, oh my gosh, I got. Yeah. It took me a while. The, oh, don't even the dream sequences. There are so many in this movie. There was Inception, where Bruce was in the Yo, desert. Like, yeah, thirty freaking times. Like, it was like a hundred times. I'm like, can we get straight to the movie? Like, freaking dude. okay. <laughs> and the worst part, I hated. Of the flashback sequences in the movie was the freaking Flash. Oh, when Flash dude. came in, he's like, Lois Lane's the key. Wait, Puts what? his helmet on and he's like, the key. Yeah. I'm like, dude, Lois, no, the Flash does not have a helmet. He's not Asian yeah, no. with a man bun. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, I'm, don't get me wrong, his jawline is pretty good, yeah. but that's not the case. He's not... Asian! I'm sorry to all the Asian people, but I mean, if you're representing a comic book character, keep it a little accurate, okay? I don't know what Zack Snyder was talking about. He's trying to keep it, like, more accurate because he's a comic book fan. Yeah. Clearly, he doesn't know that between the differences from Asian and white. Alright, just relax. Before you start typing about what he said, relax. The new picture of um, Ezra Miller... Right now, him bulked up with the jawline. He's starting to look like the Flash, all right. And this movie did not look like the Flash to us. That's what he's trying to say. Just, just in this movie, just didn't he's got show this, me. He's got the like, superhero jaw now. Yeah, like this jawline is good, and he's jacked as hell, which is good. But it's just in this movie, I just didn't see it. I don't know. Yeah, like what was up with his costume? Like underneath, you see like the the normal Flash costume. But then like, like he had the helmet movie. and everything. Yeah, it was like some weird like armor. But the thing is, in the shit. in the comics and everything, he. When he teleports through time, like going through the Fiend speed force. Yeah, the speed force. He just he wears his normal suit. Doesn't have a freaking body armor and like go through it. Yeah, that was that was but, weird. But yeah. Oh man, even Aquaman was good. He was cool. For Aqu it. Yeah, I, I liked how the way he looked and stuff. He was he was cool. He was cool. I really thought he was gonna be in the movie since he was like one of the. They showed him before they showed the Batman suit, so I thought they was gonna be like, in the movie for like at least a minute. Cyborg kind of, they kind of just showed his straight origin. Yeah, Cyborg was like a full on yeah, like it was like a minute long. Thing. Yeah, like straight of his origin. I was like, oh, like, all right, cool. I guess I like, got that right out there. of the way. And on uh, the fight, the fight between the key, the marquee event in this movie, because they're marketing as Batman versus Superman, oh, right? Oh man, that fight was a good five minutes long. And it ended. The, the fight was cool. It was fight was cool. Don't get us wrong. It was yeah, cool. it was a good fight. It but the good... way it ended was the most bullshit way. I like why. Oh my god, your mom's name is Martha. Mine too, bro. Oh my god. Guess I'll Yo, I it. just won't. I guess I will totally say screw whatever I was originally gonna do. Like, oh, you're still not a threat to. You know, you're not a threat to the human race now just because your mom's the same as mine. So I'll stop and go save her. But in a sense, I guess what they were trying to do was like. Say, like, because, like, his mother died and he couldn't really do anything about it, so it was his chance to save Martha again, in a sense. That's at least what I think, but still, it's a really dumb way to stop the big fight that they hyped up this whole time. Yeah, but the fight overall was good. It was good. Uh, I, overall, for me, I hyped it way too much for myself because of publicity. Uh, seeing it. He loves DC. I'm a, I'm a big DC fan, and after seeing this, I'm like, oh... Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was good, but I kind of wanted like more. More, yeah. Like I wanted more. Of course, I know the way, like where the movie was going and how long the movie was. They couldn't like add in. They're just throwing in stuff in, like how I said before. Like it was just like stuff in. But the fight was good overall. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, the, the last act of the movie was just phenomenal. That oh was, yeah, 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 that yeah. was great. The, if, it was so fun. It was like damn epic. Like if you were to just cut out the beginning, like parts of the beginning. Yeah, and just so have slow. from like from like the middle to yeah middle to the end, and get a new Lex Luthor. It would have been a perfect movie. <laughs> would have been really good. Uh, that and the critics. 
Yeah, the critics were just really bashing this film mm-hmm. for like really god knows I think, any reason. I think like I'm a Marvel guy, ride or die, but I like Batman and Flash the most out of DC, but I didn't hate this movie. I just thought it could have been better. Like still. Yeah, because like I think I don't know. One guy said it was shit, the other guy said it was shit, and it just kept on going. Yeah, they just, like, fell in the majority. Like, oh, I guess if this reviewer says it's shit, then I guess I should say it, too. But honestly, in the end, it's what the fans think of it. If we like it, then they win. The critics don't win anything. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. But we didn't, well, we did like it, you know, to an extent. That's what I'm saying. Doomsday! Oh, shit! How would I forget? He looks like shit. He looks like a freaking like lizard. <laughs> you look like a ninja turtle. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's even better. Freaking ninja turtle. Like a ninja turtle that freaking like, mutated you. Looks like the freaking like the lost brother of the ninja turtles, like freaking like the like, retarded one, like the sloth. He's <laughs> <of> the- <laughs> like, oh, Gerald. <laughs> yeah, he's like Gerald. 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 Raphael Leonardo. Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Uh, but it's cool. I like what they were doing with him though. Every time, like, he got like stronger. Yeah, and more bones came out because everyone was like talking shit about him, saying that like, oh, he looks awful. Where's his bones and stuff? Like, but people, he's gonna get them. He was getting them. Like, he he was, he's indestructible. So he was getting them. I'm pretty sure he's not dead. He I can mean. never die. If you kill him once in the comics, you can't kill him the same way again when he comes back. Yeah. Superman though, the very end, I don't know if many people know this or saw this. It's a, oh yeah, before, this is a legit, a spoiler review, so it doesn't matter, just go for it. So, okay, yeah, I, know, I, I literally destroyed the whole, like, everything. You really did before you got I should have said, I should have said spoiler alert, okay, spoiler alert, I guess. Spoiler alert, alright, start the video over, and now you know the spoiler alert, alright? Yeah, so anyway, um, when they're burying Superman, the very split second at the very end, you see a little dirt start to float up. A.K. He's not dead. Oh A.K.A. God. There we go. A.K.A. He's not dead. Really, nigga? Ladies and gentlemen, don't worry. Superman's not dead. For people who don't know DC very well, it's okay. You know, literally, like, honestly, if you sat in that theater and saw Superman get impaled and die, and you thought, oh my gosh, he's dead, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Like, there's Justice League Part 1 and 2 coming out. How is this man going to be dead? It's Superman, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I think, Like, what? I feel bad for the average moviegoer that would actually think that mm-hmm. he's dead. That sucks. Yeah. He ain't. But, like, <laughs> is Sue in this or doesn't change at all? It was, it was minor tweaks. It was minor yeah, tweaks. it was just, like, little, like, it was, like, whatever. But, like, it was good. Batman's suit was... I, it, I didn't like it at first. Oh, my gosh. That fight scene. No, 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 no. Forget the suit. That fight scene was like play, oh, the watching warehouse? Arkham. Oh, man. It, it was, was like, like watching a... Arkham on the big screen. It Holy was shit. Uh, it was really like so uh, with the plus side of him having a bulletproof, a uh, knife proof like, suit. Oh, suit is dope. that was a good fight. That is what like a Batman I would like to see. That is the Batman I've been waiting for for someone such a who's ruth- ruthless and like willing to kill. And even at the very end, spoiler alert again. Um, when he went to go see Lex Luthor at, at, in the prison, he brought, like, the freaking branding no, shit. I don't, I don't like that, though. That's that's a, just a bit over the top now. Yeah, cause, <laughs> because, like, but, like, the way he went in and wanted to, like, murder the dude with, like, the, the thingy, Man. I was like, whoa. Like, it was cool and all, but, like, but, like, the one thing I didn't like, though, Batman was using guns a lot. Like, he was, like, willing to, like, kill... He was killing people a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. The killing. casualties Batman had. Yeah, movie. like, he was Holy killing shit. left, right, and center. Like, I mean, the first time you see... Oh, but, like, well, sidetrack right there. The first time you see Superman, he kills a guy. Because because the scene after, he says, I didn't kill anyone. But you know for damn well sure, this is a fur, this is an African terrorist, right? A regular guy. That's all. Superman flies in. Full force grabs a guy and put like flies him through through like three oh, goddamn yeah, yeah, solid yeah, walls. Yeah. That dude is dead, Superman. <laughs> All right, I don't know who you're lying to. And another side note, whatever. It pissed me off like personally when like he was Lois Lane was in the bathtub and then this this asshole gets in the tub oh. with his <laughs> shoes on and full on clothes. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's I cringe. Like, why are you doing that? I- yeah, this guy really loves the woman. Yeah, like, yo, like, what was he, was he gonna try and, like, bang her in the thing? You have to take your clothes off, dude. 
Forget that scene. It's just completely not even relevant. But, uh, uh, <laughs> where were we? Uh, we were talking ba about Batman. Suit? Yeah, his suit. Oh, no, we're not talking about him killing people. Yeah, he was killing a lot of guys. I mean, like, at a certain point, I, I kind of let it go. I'm like, whatever, it's fine. But then, like, after, like, a couple more kills, I'm like, all right, dude, I know you're, like, this this dark guy, but chill out. These are regular guys. Your code of, like, was not to kill and use guns. Yeah. This guy brought a freaking sniper <laughs> rifle and, like, yeah, that dream sequence though. I guess you can't really count that as no, killing you, you people. Can't, you can't count but he that. was full on. Like he, it he was, was going at it. I guess it was <laughs> the intention yeah. in a way. He wants to kill, but yeah, but that whole fight where he's trying to get like the kryptonite or whatever from those Russians with the Batmobile. Oh yeah, he he, of, he he used a car that he originally like destroyed as like a weapon to kill other bad guys. Like yo. <laughs> So in this movie, Chill. Batman, come to think of it, Batman was like a thug. He killed people, stole shit. <laughs> wow, my... He doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. I mean, I like this Batman. It's more realistic. Like, in real... Like, you're not really going to stop these guys. You're going to kill them. Like, you don't want them to do that shit again, so... This is a real All I'm going to say is Zack Snyder, just don't direct the next one. Maybe, like, yeah, executive producer, alright? Like, yeah, produce this shit. Just right, produce it, but like, don't be executive director, because like... Like, if he... Or, he or sorry, don't be director. Is he directing Justice League? I'll check right now. Yeah, just go on, I'll check. Just... But yeah, overall, this movie, uh, first half, um, <clears throat> I would I would skip it, personally. I would yeah, skip go it. like an hour into the movie. Once you go an hour into the movie, you would like, you'd be like, oh shit, like this movie just suddenly, and it suddenly just picks up. Once you start watching, you're like... Oh snap! By the way, the three lineup with Superman, Wonder Woman, and oh, Batman. Oh, Trinity, that was. Yeah, great. that was a that really was good cool. picture. Like that was a good like sort of shot. That's like a background for like a laptop. Yo, but the whole funny thing, like Batman, really didn't have to be at the end fight. Oh, he like, he got like, up. He got up, looked around. He's like, ah, oh, you know what? <laughs> he's like, oh. Okay. I, like if I was Batman, I would have just shot the thing once, and get a good clear shot, boom, and like just go home. I'm like, all right, they can do the rest. Like, literally, he's just, like, standing there, he's, like, watching them, like, oh, shit. Um, oh, my God, what are you doing? <laughs> he's directing it? Yep. The Justice League? Yep. Oh, but Bill Finger's writing it? Really? He created Batman. It's a nice little bit. Really? Oh, it's just the characters he made. Whatever. Writing credit. No, never mind. He's not writing it. He's probably... He's dead. What am I saying? Um, but, yeah... Zack Snyder's directing Justice League Part 1. Part 1. Okay, not Part 2. He's probably Part 2. No, he's, he's shaping the DC Universe in his own image. He has a fire him. Ladies and gentlemen. Just, not fire him, but you know, just, 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 just get back. Just, just, you know, just take it back to the drawing board, like, just... Fire him. <laughs> I'm not risking... Okay, Marvel Universe so far has been killing it. Each movie they release, it's like, it's phenomenal. Freaking... Alright, Iron Man 2. Iron... Oh. Oh, yeah! All the Thors. He's like, okay, Ant-Man? Iron Man I, I kind of had less hope for that, because I'm like, oh. Yeah, that turned out great. That was a really good movie. And everyone doubted Guardians of the Galaxy. From the, from that... Oh, we're not, we can't bring Marvel into this review. Alright, <laughs> we can't. But Marvel's doing a great job. DC just needs to, like, get, get on track. Right? Just, like, just, like, just fix up the story a bit. Like, I know they're trying to get the story out. They adapted two comic books in this, too. Like, Death of Superman and Dark Knight Returns. BT dubs. By the way. Yeah. I'm feeling... It can fit in Injustice, though, in a way. Cause yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's giving me that Injustice vibe, though. It, it, that's what I feel like. Be, like. It'd be a really cool movie, though. That, like, like, I would love to see that. And Superman, Superman gone like freaking thingy, like he's gonna make everything perfect. Yeah, because in that dream sequence, he had soldiers and shit. Yeah, that, and that's what that, I was That's like, what gave the vibe of Injustice. That was cool. That, and when the Flash was warning Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that's that logo saying like, is the key. Uh, but overall, thanks for watching, guys, uh, of our review on Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. I give it a solid 6 out of 10. I give it like a 6.5. Seven. No, six point five. I have to six point five. I can't give it a seven. Like, 
it got it was too, if I would have given it a seven if it was like a little yeah. early on in the movie, but like it was kind of it was super late. Like I would have gave it like a seven point five if Lex Luthor wasn't portrayed the way he was. I really didn't like him, and I like Jesse Eisenberg, but come on. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the review on the movie, please like, subscribe, uh, and comment. What was your favorite? Uh, info in the below. I don't know what I just said. I have no idea, but all I know uh, is we're gonna get chewed up in the comment section by all the DC fanboys. Okay, you know what? Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. I don't give a shit. See you May 6th. Bring it on. May 6th.